like four, three. Six, six, call, 20. Oh, oh my God. I was in that seat, bro. Where is that him? It's Queens? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Race, seat eight, race to 60. Seat six, call. In this video for pokernews.com, we're taking a look at a neat spot from Game of Gold. Make sure you check that out on GG Poker's YouTube channel if you have not already. Not right now, after this video. In this hand, Robinson, Robin Poker on the internet, opts to limp 100 big blinds deep from the small blind with 10 8 offsuit, which is perfectly fine and reasonable. And then Yo Viral makes it 60,000. They're playing 2 million chips deep with Pocket Queens. The players who are watching this in real time while they're playing said that maybe Yo Viral can go a little bit bigger in the spot. And I think that's fine and reasonable playing very deep stacked. It's an interesting spot because if you think you can make it 60,000 and get called almost every time, but if you make it 80,000, you're going to start to get a lot of folds. You don't really mind making it 60 in position with your very strong hands. So I think this is probably ideal. Robin Poker, obstacle with his 10-8, which again, perfectly fine and reasonable. So far, so good. Let's head to the flop. Set six, check. Set eight, back. Set six, call. 90. The flop comes Jack of Hearts, Seven of Clubs, Six of Spades. Robin Poker checks. Yo Viral goes for a very nice value bet of 90,000 into the 130,000 pot. This is a spot where I think a lot of people make the mistake of going smaller. They think they should continuation bet this frequently and small, but whenever the board is relatively draw heavy, but there's currently no flush or straight available, these are usually times you want to bet with a more polarized range using a bigger size, which is exactly what Yo Viral does. Around to Robin Poker with his gut shot, I think calling is a very reasonable option. He may opt to raise some portion of the time, but he decides to call. Let's head to the turn. Oh my god. Yeah, I can see that. And they'll play that range really in the last the flop. Most likely. Six, six, check. The appropriate amount. Got a spot here with 10 8. Uncomfortable though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're beat against a value bet. Six, six, call. Thank you. The turn is not a nine, it is the eight of clubs, which is a bit of a disaster for Robin Poker because he is not gonna be able to fold on the turn. He checks, Yo Viral makes a nice bet of about two thirds pot. Maybe he can go a little bit smaller now that there is a draw available, but I think most people are going to play very straightforwardly in this situation. They're not gonna take a whole lot of hands containing a 10 or a nine or a five and check raise them as a bluff. If your opponents will start check raising more and more draws as a bluff to the point that you cannot bet and then fold your pocket queens easily to a raise, well, then maybe you want to go a little bit smaller, but I think this is a spot where the two-thirds pot size bet is very nice. 10 eights, only real option is the call. Let's head to the river. Six, six, check. It'll go check, check. Obviously. Come on, yo. No, no, no. Bet. Bet.
it's at 8, bet 4, bet 10. The river is the king of clubs, putting up a back door flush. Robin Poker checks, and Yo Viral opts to go for a chunky value bet, 400,000 into the 700,000 pot. I love this. This is a spot where many people just check it back because, well, the opponent could have a king, but this is a spot where the vast majority of the time, Robin Poker is going to have a jack, an eight, or a seven. Think about it. What's he really going to check call? the flop and turn with that has a king in it, unless it is a random two pair, like king jack or king seven. I realize Robin Poker could have those, but they're relatively unlikely. It's not a whole lot of hands containing a king. So in this situation, queens are the best hand the vast majority of the time. And as long as you don't expect your opponent to check shove you all that often, you can very easily go for a value bet in this spot. It's an even better value bet when you have the queen of clubs because you block some flushes that Robin Poker could potentially have, which makes it less likely that he has a flush and therefore more likely he has one of those medium strength hands that you beat. He does go 400,000. Now, look, Lucas Robin Poker knows that his entire team is back in the room watching this hand. They're going to be critiquing everything he does. Do you think that that should make him more or less likely to call in this scenario? Take a second, think about it, and let me know in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, click the like and subscribe button. First hunt, eh? Hey? Look nervous. Don't really have a good hand for that good a hand to call, but I do kind of. Five seconds. Four. Six, six. We got queens? Yeah. No! no. no. Let's go! Oh. <laughs> he crushed him, bro. Wow, owned him. <laughs> he crushed him. After much deliberation, Robin Poker decides to make the call and he's shown the bad news. The fact that everyone was in the back room watching this in real time should not impact his play at all. He should just make a point to try to play good, strong, fundamentally sound poker. Now, the question is, should he have called in this spot? And look, it's a nasty scenario. However, I think he probably needs to fold because if you consider Yo Viral's logical bluffs on the flop and turn that get to the river, it's gonna be a whole lot of backdoor flush draws, which got there, and a whole lot of hands containing an overcard, mainly a king or a queen, and the king got there. And Yo Viral's certainly good enough to value bet a king, and I think he's also good enough to value bet a decent jack in this spot. So if he's gonna value bet a decent jack and better, and a large chunk of his bluffs just got there with a king, like king, queen, king, 10, king, nine, etc., you're not beating a whole lot. So when you are looking to find hero calls in this scenario, you ideally want to block your opponent's value hands. So what are the logical value hands for Yo Viral to have in this scenario, given, remember, he raised over a small blind limp preflop. He's probably not going to have a whole lot of hands like 10-9 because those would just check and see the flop. So I think this is a spot where you really just want to block the clubs. So you really want to have a club in your hand to find the hero call, and Robin Poker doesn't have one. So for that reason, I think even if you are kind of in bluff catching mode in this scenario, if you did decide to find some hero calls, they really want to have a club. Without a club, you just got to let it go. I know it's annoying to let it go. Maybe you think Yo Viral is just going to try to run you over. And to be fair, maybe he is. But it's a spot where I think you just want to play good, strong GTO poker. And when you're trying to find bluff catchers in this spot, step one, make sure you block the nuts, at least some. And this 10-8 really just doesn't do it all that well. So that's me for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click the like and subscribe button down below. Huge thanks to GG Poker and Game of Gold for letting us use this footage. If you need a player for season two, hello, here I am. Good luck in your games. Have fun. Win your hero call. Make sure you have the blocker. I'll talk to you next time.